Welcome to the Dogs Podcast with your hosts, Blake Reniker, Justin Charles, and Josh All. All right, like we mentioned in the opening of the show, we are joined by Brown's undrafted free agent wide receiver, Amarian Brown. Marion, how are you doing tonight? Good, man. Blessed to be here. Yeah, absolutely, man. It's, it's really exciting to have you on the show. And we just wanted to have you on here for a few minutes, talk about your journey so far through, you know, from college to the senior bowl, to the, to the Browns. And I think we'll just kind of start there. So just real quick, how has Cleveland been for you? What's the experience been like through the mini camps and the OTAs and all that kind of stuff? Man, Cleveland's been amazing, man. I, I kind of didn't know what to expect uh, coming up to Ohio because I've never been to Ohio. So, um, you know, getting off that plane, everything was kind of new to me. Uh, I was just hearing stuff here and there. You know, I talked to uh, a few guys. Um, I actually met a few people who were from um, Ohio. That kind of got some insight uh, about Cleveland and stuff like that. But everything's been good, man. You know, they've been treating me pretty well. Um, you know, I can't complain, man. I'm blessed to be here. This is an opportunity that a lot of guys don't get. So, you know, who am I to come here and, and complain about? So, you know, I, I'm, I'm just blessed to be here. Um, I'm happy that the, uh, the Browns organization believed in me enough to to – to welcome me uh, to the team. And, you know, I'm just excited to get rolling. It. That's awesome. So I guess, you know, at, since you've been here, since you've been with the team and you've been, you know, working out and, and doing the practices and stuff, who are some of the guys on the team that you've kind of been hanging around with? Have there been some of the other rookies that you've been, you know, establishing a relationship with? Have any vets kind of taken you under their wing to show you the ropes mm-hmm. or, you know, how, how's that kind of been going for you? Um, well, you know, obviously the rookies, you know, us rookies, we we're together all day, every day, you know, so, so we're hanging out all the time, whether that's here in the hotel playing the game or whether that's, you know, at the facility, um, during our meetings or after our meetings, you know, being there, cause we're, we're usually there, uh, by ourselves a lot, uh, just having our rookie meetings and things like that. But, uh, obviously the, the rookies, um, Jalen Darden, and I actually met him, uh, when he was playing for the Bucks. So it was good to kind of uh, come in, you know, with the guy that I was familiar with as well. Um, but I think th- I think the first person who, who came in and kind of took me and Jamar Thrash under, under under his wing was uh, Cedric Tillman. You know, he was a rookie last year, and uh, you know he, he basically went through the same process a year ago. And it was good kind of having him here uh, right after rookie minicamp. And uh, he was just a guy who, who was willing to help. And you know, a lot of a lot of guys in the league, you know, you don't have to you know, be there. You know, you hear about a lot of guys, you know, who feel like they shouldn't mentor rookies or they, they don't have to be there for rookies just because it's our job. You know, it's our job to do what we have to do. But I think first and foremost, Ted was a guy who came in and he was he was willing to help. Like he 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 was doing stuff that he didn't have to do. And you know, me and Jamar definitely appreciate it, Seth, um, for that. Um and really all the older guys, uh Jerry Judy met Jerry Judy uh actually for the second time. I met him on a visit to Alabama, and I, I showed him a picture of us when I was on a visit uh, to Alabama. Which it, it was funny. He said he remembered me. He, he kind of recognized my face, which is funny. Uh, Elijah Moore, um, a lot of those guys, they, they're 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 here to help, and I think that we have a, a a good group of guys, you know, not only on the team but in that receiver room who's who's willing to help. But also JD, I mean JD, uh, Jalen Darden, I, you know, since he's been here, we've been you know we've been super tight. Uh, he's just helping me, you know, he's, he's also, you know, a guy kind of built like me. So he understands the things I have to go through. So he, he's kind of been that guy who, who's really been, you know, by my side and he's been willing to, to help with anything. I, uh, you mentioned hanging out, playing games with the other rookies. <laughs> I, I assume you're talking about like video games. Yeah, 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 Matt. We've been playing Madden. Madden. <laughs> so I got. Are you guys pumped for the new NCAA? I guess it's called college football now. And how mad are you that you missed? You're not going to be in it by one year, man. It's I'm excited about it, but it's kind of like now, really. <laughs> yeah, <that's laughs> now, now we don't get a chance to be in the game. <laughs> like waiting, what ten? Was it ten years? Yeah, I think 2014 was the last time. Yeah. And now, the now, now we're not in college. They want to come out with a new game. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I just, I, I mean, I'm excited. I'm, I'm definitely excited to play. I'm, I'm excited to see how it is because I think NCAA 14 was one of the best games for a while. Like I'm pretty like everybody was playing NCAA 14 and I'm excited. I'm, I'm excited to see how it goes. You know, I, you know, I'm, I'm definitely pumped to play it. For sure. 
I, I was just curious because I'm, I'm a big gamer and I, I got like a, a calendar countdown for that game. So I, I can't wait to play. <laughs> so, I mean, yeah, you missed that game, but you I get to be in Madden now. So that's cool, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Which is, which is, I'm pretty sure all of our dreams of being Madden. Now that's the, that's the ultimate dream. Be playing with yourself in Madden. How, how, man, I can't. how crazy, can you even put that into words? Like you're going to turn on a video game and, and be able to go put yourself in the game. Like how, how wild is that? That's the thing. It's like, it's like one of those things like you always like dream about it like, Man, I can't wait to do it. But like now it's serious, like weird. Like there's no way. Like I don't have to create myself in the game. Like I'll be it's a diff it's a difference. You, uh, are you playing quarterback? <laughs> I might. Okay. I might, I might. I just had to throw it out there. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh so what we're talking about your your run coming into the league. Obviously, the Senior Bowl was a big part of that. What was the experience like down there in the Senior Bowl, um, playing with all the, I mean, like some of the top seniors in the country? It was fun. I mean, just getting that experience. Uh, you know, it's, it's always fun competing, and uh, you never want to shy away from competing. Competition is is what this league is built on, and in every position from top to bottom, you got to compete no matter what. You know, there is no, uh, okay, we can get away this game, or, you know, sometimes it's uh, it's like a game here and every like okay you know I don't have to put my best foot forward but like every week there's a challenge and you're going to be challenged by the best um even some of the guys at the bottom of the roster are still elite so there's no like guys who aren't good in the NFL so you just got to be on your A game you know week in and week out uh I got a question for you real quick about like the practices and stuff so are you allowed to talk about kind of what goes on at practice or, or should we steer away from those questions? Uh, I can, I can, I can be brief. I can, I, can be. <laughs> I just wanted to ask you about, I know one thing I was reading about you was your, your punt return abilities. Uh, and I was just curious if you've been working with the punt return team during yeah. any of the sessions so far. Um, I mean, we, we're all just, I mean, I'm just trying to find a role on this team. So, yeah. I mean, whether that's punts, kicks, whatever receiver, or whatever they ask me to do, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm there to do it. Uh, I mean, I guess. Well, yeah. let, let me ask you this: Is there what's the uh, the is there an excitement level about the new kickoff this season? Like with the players, like are guys talking uh, about how this is going to be more exciting and an opportunity for bigger plays and that kind of stuff? It's, it's definitely exciting. It's something that I think that the whole league is going to have to get used to because you know nobody has really any film. I mean, we can go watch the XFL or the UFL and look at their film, but it's different when you actually have to do it. So I think it's just gonna it's gonna be a process. I don't think it's gonna be there's just gonna be like a, a build up until people, you know, see what other people do and, and see what works for them for it to be uh really good. But I think it's gonna be definitely really good. I think there's just gonna be some getting used to early on for sure. Yeah. I know we're pretty excited about it. It, it kind of makes the kickoff it, before it was kind of almost being phased out of the game. It was a lot of touchbacks yeah. most of the time. And now it's like, it's almost going to, it feels like it's going to be must see TV. Like it's going to be a play no, that gone. you don't want to miss. Now is you basically have to return. Yeah. The kick. Yeah. You basically have to. And I, I like it too, because bringing the importance of the kick is to me, it's important. That's a lot of guys jobs. You know what I right. mean? Like that, a lot of people have good NFL careers and long NFL careers because of punt returns, kickoff returns. You can go to the Pro right. Bowl as a special teams player. So I didn't like that it was being phased out of the game. So I think that's a really cool part of it too. Right. Yeah, I think it's going to be fun. I think it's going to be definitely uh, – it's going to be one of those plays that people are – that's going to be something that you, you need to watch. But I feel like in that phase, really anything can happen. That that can change the game as well yeah. for a lot of teams. I mean, it's going to be it's going to be pretty cool to watch. Yeah, I know we've talked about it. Like even just teams might carry two kickers now, just because you might not want your your ace field goal kicker making tackles, a lot of tackles on the kickoff yep. team. You know, so I think there's a whole other strategy level to it that I don't is maybe even being lost in the discussion. That I think is a cool part yep. of it. Or they can put skill players that kicker who can who know how to kick a little bit. Yeah, yeah, something like that too. Yep. Like there's a lot of stuff that goes into it. Yep. So. um I, uh, I watched a video earlier, man, of uh, right after your pro day, a guy was just firing uh, off questions to you and he was talking about how you were coming from a pro style offense and, you know, how that was going to help your transition, um, you know, into the NFL. Um, I just wanted to talk about like what that process, how has that helped you? Has it helped you at all? Is it, has it been a good transition? I think it's been, I think the transition has been pretty well. I think the terminology 
it's uh it's what gets a lot of the guys. Um, but a lot of guys don't come from a pro style offense, um, which I think could be tough. I think it was definitely a uh, benefit for me because I'm I'm kind of familiar with a lot of the concepts. Um, the names may be different. Uh, there might be tweaks here and there, but I'm kind of familiar with how things go. Um, there's different categories for different things, which I think that I got uh, really used to being in a pro style offense for what three years. Uh, it was definitely a benefit for me. This episode is brought to you by Omaha Steaks. Let's all take a minute to wish happy birthday to the United States of America. And there's no better way to celebrate America's birthday than with the best meats available for your backyard cookouts this 4th of July season. Right now, you can save 50% off site-wide during the Omaha Steaks 4th of July sale. So break out the grills and get ready for the 4th of July celebrations with Omaha Steaks. Get the burgers, the chicken, the jumbo franks, the brats. Of course, get the steaks. Those things are incredible. They've got appetizers, meatballs, wings. They've got desserts. They've even got wine. They've got everything you guys need to celebrate America's birthday with your friends and your family. Go to omahasteaks.com slash dogs and use promo code dogs, D-A-W-G-S, when you check out and you'll get an extra $30 off your order. So set off the fireworks in everybody's mouth with Omaha Steaks this 4th of July. Head to omahasteaks.com slash dogs. Get 50% off site-wide during the 4th of July sale and make sure you guys punch in that promo code dogs, D-A-W-G-S, when you check out to get an extra $30 off your order. Happy 4th of July, everybody. So, has, oh, go ahead. Go ahead. I was just going to say, so kind of talking about, you know, your transition and stuff like that. Has there been anything, I, obviously it's been a short amount of time so far in your NFL career, but has there been anything where after a practice you were like, damn, this is different. Like this is next level. This tra- this is going to be tough. And has there been anything where you, it was asked of you or you got done with the practice and you're like, okay, I got this. I belong here. Like, it, you know what I mean? Like on both ends of the spectrum. Um, I can't lie to you, man. When I, the first couple of weeks, man, ooh, <laughs> it was rough. Uh, it's because they throw so much at you, and uh, they don't expect you to learn it right away. But us as competitors and, you know, us as rookies, we don't want to go out and mess things up. You know, your first impression is your best impression. So for me, it was, man, it was, I was studying literally until I went to sleep. Like those first couple of weeks, it was kind of, it was it was bad, but it was just something that I need to to go through, um, and I understand the importance, you know, of knowing what to do, knowing how to do it, do it at a high level, which is important. Uh, but I can't lie, yeah, that, those first couple of weeks, you know, it threw everything at us, and it was it got it got it was rough. Um, but I know this game is more mental, really, than physical. Um, so I just need to find a way, kind of find my. My uh, my routine, uh, you know how I handle things. Yeah, like I mean, Blake just said, you know, it, it has been a short time since you've been in the NFL so far. But in your opinion, like, what do you think is the biggest area that you feel you have grown as a football player just in that time period from college now into these first couple weeks of like you know these camps and stuff, it, like on the field, like skill development or even off the field preparation, training, anything like that. I think uh, me getting here, it was just kind of me starting over again. Um, obviously, I'm in the NFL now, so it's different than college. I kind of just say, like, finding out who I was again um, in this new situation. Obviously, I know uh, my skill set and, and what I'm capable of, but it's kind of, like I said, like finding that new routine because things are different. Um, you know, like a, like a lot of people may say, it's a business and they treat you like a business. So nobody's, you know, following you, making you do this. Nobody's um, going to remind you to, okay, make sure you go over this because this is important. So it's like making sure you pay attention to all the small things. Like when, when, when a coach is not speaking to you, but he's explaining something, you got to make sure you listen to that as well, because you could be there. He's not going to tell you, you might be there tomorrow, but you can be doing that same thing tomorrow. But he just told somebody else that you got to, you know, you got to, it's, it's those things that, you know, you got to really pay attention to. But I think it was me just finding myself again, um, just digging deep and, and understanding, you know, where I am now and, and the things I have to do to to just keep going and keep climbing. Do I guess, uh, 
have the Browns done a good job? I guess in your opinion, and obviously you're not going to bash the Browns on camera, but uh, <laughs> like we, I know Jim Brown used to be a guy who talked to the rookies about like mm. coming in and how to handle being a pro. And they put on kind of, kind of like a rookie <laughs> summit um, and stuff like that about handling your business. Kind of how you talk about how p- there's no more hand holding, And I, I can't yeah. imagine there's a ton of hand holding in division one college, but your coach uh-huh. is probably still following up and doing that kind of stuff. You know what I mean? Uh, and now, and now it's, it's a job and it's a business. Do you think, feel like the Browns have a good culture in, in helping their rookies get ready to take on that extra responsibility? That's one thing I can say. Um, they do a great job. Like there's so many resources for us uh, to get help. Like, there's ways to learn and to get help that I didn't even know was possible. Um, and, and you know, we, we, we meet with uh, Brew, uh, Ron Brewer uh, really every day. And he's kind of the guy that we can lean on. Like, if we ever need something, he's there. Uh, I think they do an amazing job um, of just trying to make sure that we have everything there. Like I said, they're not going to make us do stuff, but the things, the resources are there. It's just up for us to be pros and to use them and to say something if we need help. Like that's, that's what I mean. Like the difference between like college and pros, like everything's there. It's just, they're not going to make us do it. It's just up to us if we want to use our resources or not. So it's been, I, I it's know- been amazing though. I can't, I can't complain. I, I can't complain about anything. Everything's been so far has been, it's been amazing. That's good to know too, because I'm not gonna. We've I've been a Browns fan for my whole life, and I feel mm-hmm. like we've we have that culture now. And if I would have asked you this question ten years ago, I don't know if I would have been surprised if you would have been like, they just kind of threw us to the wolves. Like I feel like yeah. I feel like we've really turned the the, the corner as a franchise. I think like AB and Stefanski, and I think these are good guys. Now, I think they do a great job. Um, AB actually he talked to us too in one of our rookie meetings, and you know it's one of those things where a lot of guys don't get a, a chance to talk to the GM and it's kind of weird like him coming spend like taking time away from what he's got to do because Lord knows the things he has to do <laughs> and just coming to talk to the rookies like just trying to make sure we're good with everything him as well you know one of the things he told us was to make sure we use the resources because the people in, in the building are there for us like that's their job their jobs are to make sure that we can perform as best as we can on the field and that's just one thing uh, one thing that we have to you know, adapt to, you know, in the NFL is using your resources because, you know, they're not going to come to you, but they're there for you. You know what I mean? So. Yeah, that's, that is great to hear. We love hearing, you know, the inside scoop on the, like Blake said, we really do feel like it's a different organization than it used to be, but yeah, yeah. I know we're running up against it a little bit. Got to get you out of here. You got a busy schedule. Just real quick. What was it like when you got that call from the Browns, you know, the, hey, we want to offer you a contract and the agreement was made. Like, how did that feel? Where were you at? Like, who was with you? Just tell us the quick story about that because it's, like you said, it's not something everybody gets to experience. Yeah, it, it was weird because uh, leading up to the draft, I kind of had a vision already that I was going to be a Brown. Like, everything was connecting to the Browns. Like, I had a dream about it. Like, I was, I, I passed by cars and cars that Cleveland Browns or I go the first, as soon as I go on YouTube I see something about the Browns it was kind of weird I was like I think I want to be there uh, I don't know how but I think I will but um, it was it was a it was an amazing moment it's one of those moments that like you can't prepare for um, it's just life changing like like I said like dreaming about something for so long and it's like finally here it's kind of weird to like to know what to do in that moment you know what I mean. But I was there at home with my family. Uh, it was just a cool moment, you know, for 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 all of us because there's so many people that sacrificed for me to be here. And, you know, I understand this is just my moment. You know, I put in the work, obviously, to get to this point. But there were so many hands, you know, uh, especially my parents, man, all they've done for me since I was a kid. Uh, just making sure that, you know, I never gave up on myself no matter what, even through the ups and downs that I always knew, you know, who I was and, and they made it sure of that so it, it was it was a fun moment for all of us we went in we went in and enjoyed ourselves out there it, it was it was pretty cool man that's that's good to hear um i can't imagine the coolest thing i ever did was win like a baseball championship when i was 12 <laughs> 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 yeah, so but uh it's great to have you here like josh said we know you got to get you out of here you got a busy schedule we appreciate you taking a little bit of time uh letting us get to know you letting the listeners get to know you uh we love getting just the insight 
into kind of like the inner workings of the Browns and meeting the players. It's it's really awesome. So we appreciate you being here, taking time. Good luck with everything. And uh, we, we can't wait to hopefully maybe come up and meet you in person at training camp or something. Oh, yeah. I appreciate y'all, man. Uh, I'm always welcome. Um, y'all always welcome to have me. Um, you know, I'm here for y'all as well. So I appreciate y'all for having me. I'm blessed, man. Thank y'all. Thank All you, right, man. thanks a lot, man. Good luck. Thanks for listening to another episode of The Dogs Podcast. Make sure you subscribe on YouTube and follow us on Twitter at The Dogs Podcast. Get your thoughts on the show at thedogspodcast.com.